you will never ever guess who I've just bumped into. Today in South Korea, it is all about Squid Game. Welcome back to the channel, hope you're all keeping well. So it is day six here for us in Seoul in South Korea. Uh, of course, Tottenham take on Sevilla tomorrow night. We've got a spare day today, so we're down uh, back in the underground and we will be visiting some filming locations from the very popular Netflix series, Squid Game. It should be an interesting day. Morning, Jason. Morning. How are you? I'm very well today, just had my uh, morning grapefruit juice. Are you looking forward to seeing some filming locations from Squid Game? Are you a big fan? I'm a big fan of Squid Game. It's one of the, one of the reasons we come to this wonderful country is to find out a little bit more about Squid Game. I thought you only come for the food. Uh, no, I uh, oh, don't record that. <laughs> so first stop today will be Dobong. There's a number of filming locations located here. So it's so hot here um, at the station, they actually have one of these coolers, which is, uh, which is blowing. So it's absolutely lovely because it is so hot. <laughs> Just getting all my back in here. <laughs> so we are now at the first film location. And this is where the conversation took place. So I've got to say it's amazing being here and uh, the shop owners actually come out and uh, having a chat with us. Um, they get so many visitors to these locations which is absolutely fantastic. The shop owner wants us to get the perfect picture, so he's actually taking down the banner so we can get the perfect picture exactly like it was. It's, it's incredible that this guy is so helpful. He's now set up the perfect picture. He's moved the furniture as well, so we can get the perfect picture here. So the shop owners uh, just told me that um, the main actor actually stayed in his house, which is just here. When they were filming, he stayed in this room. He's now going a step further. He's setting up the scene with the, uh, with the bottle, with the glasses, even with the noodles. This is fantastic. Thank you so much for all of your help. Thank you. Thank you. Jason's asking for directions. It's proving a little difficult for the next location. <laughs> So after a bit of a trek, we have made it to the market for the next location. You will never ever guess who I have just bumped into. So this is the next location. They've actually got the autographs here of the actors. Yeah. 
so opposite this filming location they have just opened a squid game shop let's go inside Any SEO? Nothing else. I've got some bits. So location one is where we've just visited. We're gonna move on to uh, two, three and five. We've just been to four as well. Where we've just sat. So whilst I'm wearing this, Jason's getting ready to get in his dress. <laughs> Jason's having a bit of fun. <laughs> That's now two locations visited, and I don't know if you've noticed, both locations have been extremely quiet. Um, absolutely perfect for filming. We have now made it to the third location, which was a short walk from location two. So when I mentioned how quiet it is here, we actually had to wait about five minutes. Oh, I recognize that noise. <laughs> we had to wait five minutes. Um, before someone could take a photo for us. More directions. I tell you what, the South Korean people go above and beyond to help any tourists. They are absolutely fantastic. They really are. Jace, how are you enjoying the Squid Game tour? Yeah, it's great, isn't it? Yeah, the people are really helpful here. We want to be able to do I it just said them. That. I have to say that. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely fantastic. On to the next location. Indeed. So we have just come out of the market and the next location is just over the road. We are now at the next location. And as you all notice, the signs have changed, the colours have changed, it's been painted. So these are the grab machines that actually played in the scene and this place was full of them but it's recently changed and now sell a lot of sweets, snacks and drinks and of course look you get the chance to win a squid game toy So what I have noticed is that this is the only location that we've visited so far that doesn't reference Squid Game in any shape or form. And um, the guy that works in there, I asked about Squid Game and he said, uh, no, the place has now completely changed. So uh, as I said earlier, um, it has been painted. It looks completely different. They've only got a couple of grab machines inside um, and now it is um, all about selling sweets, snacks and drinks. So we're using public transport in South Korea, again this time we're on the bus. We're now going to a train station which is another location for Squid Game. This is the market stuff. So we need to pass the Sulong two, two station. So we're now at station D09 and a very, very famous scene happened here.
So this is exactly where that famous scene took place. And this is where he ran for the train and didn't quite make it. So I hope you enjoyed that part of the video, the filming locations of Squid Game. I'll put the addresses below, so if you'd like to visit any of them, you can. Um, very easy to do so, and the people are extremely friendly. We are now on our way to a Legends evening with uh, Tottenham Hotspur legend Ledley King.
that. So what was the big team that's competing in the Champions League every single season? I think that is first and foremost for us to, to, be, to be making sure that we were able to do that. Uh, and then to be competing for all the trophies. You know, the team that is challenging for the Premier League, um, you know, the team that is competing in the Champions League and trying to go as far as possible. Uh, and hopefully we try to win that. So you know, at the moment I've got a real good feeling about the team. The manager is one of the best in the world. You know, the, the, the chairman has backed him, brought in some, some very good players. Uh, and I think I, I, I've got a feeling this is something, the start of something very special. You know, we know Sonny and Harry came to the best strikers in the world. Um, so hopefully we, we can build on that. You know, build on the good form that we showed last season. Uh, and improve on that this season and start really pushing on from there. But when you beat Arsenal and make sure that you finish fourth and they can't finish fourth, it doesn't get much better than that. So, uh, you know, there's no doubt that, again, that was a big game and the atmosphere was, it was incredible. It was one of the, the best atmospheres that we've, we've ever had. You know? And I think what added to that was that we had to wait for the game. We really had to wait for the game. The, 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 uh, the fixture was cancelled. Um, but they won't do it. They won't do it. All the time. Um, but it you know, worked out perfectly for us in the end. You know, we was in the in a, in a great in a great form at the time, and you know, was feeling really good about ourselves when the game would come around. And to be honest, I was so confident when the game came around. I was so confident that we was going to beat them. And uh, yeah, it was just it was great, great, great. Um, and yeah. There's no doubt about it. Anytime you've been asked, it's always, it's always sweeter than any other thing. <laughs> So many supporters clubs, so many dedicated people in this country. It's brilliant. Thailand Spurs, South Korea Spurs, obviously. Yep. Malaysia Spurs, Osaka Spurs. They they deserve a mention. Those boys are committed, aren't they? So yeah, it's been a great night. Led these folks very well. Um, great questions from everybody. Uh, we've had a couple of beers, which yep. is always good. Yep. Free beers, I hasten to add, which is nice. Kind of good. And, um, the official sponsor yeah. of the Champions League that we'll be playing in next year. We'll be in the Champions League. Well, next, next year, year. I mean, in a couple of months' time. And what a great venue as well. The host here, the guy that owns this place, been here 10 years. He's got a really, really good place going here. If you ever get a chance to visit it, Gangnam. Gang, Gangnam? Gangnam. Yes, Gangnam. Gangnam. Give it a go. We're loving South Korea. It's fantastic. Anyway, thanks so much for watching this video. And uh, please do subscribe to the channel if you don't already. And we will see you on the next one. Until then, come on, you Spurs. Come on, you Spurs.